Hello, welcome back. So today's topic is about the theory of island by geography. So before going in detail, let me tell you about what is the meaning of island. So island is a zone which covers 0.3% uh, of the country geographical area. It includes so many islands that example the Hawaiian Islands, the Tasmania, the Panama, the Sky Islands. Okay. So we'll discuss about the different types of islands first. The first one is the oceanic island. So it never connected to the mainland source. The example is the Hawaiian Island. The second is the continental or the land bridge island. It is connected to the mainland during the glaciations or prior to flooding. So during glaciation or prior to flooding, there is a chance of connection to the mainland. Example is the Tasmania or Barrow Coldado Islands. Then the third one is the virtual islands. Virtual islands are the isolated communities that are separated by some sort of barrier. Example is the Sky Island, the southeastern Arizona, southwestern New Mexico. So next comes is the theory of island biogeography. So it is discovered by Robert MacArthur and E. Wilson in 1967. So it is generally based upon the species area relationship about the species isolation and about the species turnover. Okay. So they first consider two important things. First one is the island size and distance from the mainland and that he describes as the richness so what does it mean the species richness is the the number of individuals of species in that particular area right so it includes the island size and the distance from the mainland so when the uh, island is in the distant position there will be lower rate of colonization however this doesn't depend upon the dispersion mechanism of the species and when there is small islands there will be less habitat and there is small population so there is high rate of extinction okay because there will be intra and interspecific competition okay so this is the biogeography theory so uh, the theory generally explains the number of species inhabiting an island is based on the dynamic equilibrium of the species uh, between the immigration of the new species and the extinction of the species which is occupied previously okay so the equilibrium number of species but constant tor number so what is the meaning of tor number tor number means that the equilibrium will maintain the rate of immigration it will be equal to the rate of the extinction okay the immigration rate is equal to the extinction rate so when there is migration slow migration slows as the richness increases so obviously when there is so many species in a particular area so there is no need of migration right they have enough resources and everything is present so there is no need of migration the next is the extinction increases with the richness so obviously when there is so many species number of species are increases so the richness increases so there will be the competition between the sources and there is intraspecific competition uh, inside the species and interspecific competition which is between the species so that will increase the extinction and colonization generally balances the extinction obviously when there will be the colonization of new species then that will balance the extinction part right so this is the number of species present and this is the rate so you can see the immigration of new species when decreases the species extinction rate is increases right So the colonization balances the extinction. Next is 
because the rate of colonization decreases and the extinction rate increases as the number of increases individual so the number of species should reach an equilibrium at which the rate of arrival and the rate of, rate of extinction are equal okay so this is the equilibrium where the rate of arrival of the new species and the rate of extinction rate is equal okay then the next comes is as the number of species on an island increases a larger fraction of colonists will be members of species already present so there will be no colonization of the new species so therefore the rate of arrival of the new species decreases until it reaches zero okay so i already said that the theory explains about the equilibrium between the immigration of new species and the extinction of previous species which is previously established so there are already species present so there is no colonization of the new species right so when the previously occupied species reaches zero that might lead to the formation of the arrival of the new species okay so the smaller an island population of a given species the more likely it is to be extinct okay so it is a very obvious thing that if the island size will be small then that will be lead to extinction so this model is predicted that high rate of extinction occurs in the smaller islands okay and the high rates of immigration to islands which are near to the colonist so the next is the smaller an island population this is the more likely it is to be extinct okay this is the past point you need to remember so if the island is smaller in size then there will be extinction second in addition the number of species that can become extinct increases as species accumulate on an island because the rate of colonization decreases and the extinction rate increases as the number of species increases eventually the number of species should reach an equilibrium at which the rate of arrival and the extinction are equal okay so there are two hypotheses one is dispersal hypothesis one is vicarian hypothesis so in the dispersal hypothesis the species first originated in one area and then dispersed to the other areas but in vicarian hypothesis first the species are dispersed then by the uh, speciation it will occur so there is occupied by a common ancestor the next is about the theory the theory explains about the pattern of the species richness in an island i already told that the immigration at the extinction and the species richness is mostly tells about the size of the island it is smaller large island and the distance from the mainland whether it is very close to mainland or it is far from the mainland okay so this four things we need to remember it also explains the reason of lower number of species in an island over time the countering forces of extinction and immigration result in an equilibrium level of species richness so to understand their theory take a look at the graph the axis on the bottom of the graph is the number of species if you follow the blue line it shows that as the number of species increases the rate of immigration begins to decrease okay so as you can see this is this is close to the mainland and this is a small island because that means the rate of extinction is more and this one is far from the mainland and this is close to mainland so the rate of immigration to an island are mainly determined by the distance from the mainland to the island and the rate of extinction on the island are mainly determined by the island size okay so the closer to the mainly there will be more species than the far so here the it is far from the mainland so only few species small distance island okay and this one is the very close to mainland so there is more number of species present and in the small island there will be extinction and in and here so the model explains that for high number of species high number of species will get in the large large island 
and the near island okay so in the, this two case we will get the large number of species in the small island there will be extinction and in the far island also there will be few species okay so the number of species on small and isolated islands are less okay so here is so the closer islands will have more species already told on them then far species just because closer islands are easier to reach okay extinction is lower on islands close to the mainland because of the likelihood of immigration and there is more of chance that new migrants will arrive and keep a species in existence on that island okay so you need to remember four things in the smaller islands the species will be less as there is extinction in the larger islands there will be more number of species and the islands which are close to the mainland there will be more number of species as it is easy to reach and the islands which are far from the mainland there is less number of species okay so there are four possibilities okay so this is all about the theory of island biogeography so let me summarize